When we think about Inner Mongolia in northern China, what comes to mind? Bats to grassland, cows and sheep, or the famous warm milk tea? I was traveling with a group of business delegates in Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. They are from around 40 foreign investment companies, chambers of commerce, and trade organizations, and they came to visit local factories and plants, and more importantly, seek future investment and cooperation opportunities. I think that through this event, we were able to feel the Chinese government's uh, commitment to revitalizing the local economy. From the production lines of photovoltaic panels, truck factories, to even the dairy product plants, the orderly working patterns of those automated equipment impressed the business representatives a lot. The new energy sector is where the Inner Mongolia has the advantages on. Most of the landscapes here are flatland, plus the enough sunshine, which has made this area a perfect location for the new energy industry. The favorable conditions of new energy development in Inner Mongolia have attracted more and more enterprises to come, and the industry supply chain is becoming more and more integrated. Energy is uh, important now for each country because it's the blood of the industry. That's why we come to Inner Mongolia for this industry. We want to come near to the customer. In 2023, Inner Mongolia received over 60% more foreign investment than the previous year. It marked the seventh consecutive year of growth. More than 160 new foreign investment enterprises settled in the region last year, increasing by more than three times from 2022. These numbers have already shown Inner Mongolia's growing appeal to global investors. But the government has not stopped, and continues to put more effort into growing the region. Thanks to the combined management of China Council for the promotion of international trade and local government, the business representatives could speak directly to related government officials about what they need. During the trip, some foreign investment companies and trade organizations showed interest in investing in Inner Mongolia or cooperate with the local companies. Their future presence will make the region supply and industrial chains even more solid, which is beneficial for both sides.